Hello, my name is Michael Muzakis. I work as a consultant uh, cosmetic doctor here at the private clinic in Birmingham and Leeds. Um, I'm trained in the UK as a plastic surgeon in uh, Cambridgeshire, East Anglia and London. And I have a special interest in hair restoration. Over the past five years, I'm performing a modified uh, follicular unit extraction uh, to offer hair restoration. And I have performed more than 800 procedures. The modified FUE, it's not a new technique. It's an old technique, uh, firstly described back in 2002 in the United States. I uh, modified the technique after my experience in microsurgery, and my aim is to deliver a scar-free result, natural result, with uh, the minimum uh, discomfort. And I'm talking about uh, pain. Okay, so um, today uh, we're going to perform this uh, modified FUE. Mr. McAdam. He has a Norwood type 2 hair loss. So uh, the modified FUE has two parts. Part one is uh, the extraction and part B is the implantation. It's a straightforward procedure under local anesthetic, minimally invasive, uh, walk-in, walk-out procedure. Uh, the patient will stay with uh, the face down for two to three hours. It depends on the amount of the hair follicles that we would need. And uh, then uh, for about an hour in order to go through the artistic part, which is the implantation. He will be with his back down on the second part, and in four hours, we can give him a very good and natural result. The patient is the ideal candidate because uh, he's in good health, first of all. Uh, he's at the perfect age to have a stable pattern of hair loss, because we can never predict the pattern of his hair loss, but uh, the older you are, the better chances you have to have a stable pattern. And also he has reasonable expectations. That's why this technique can give him a nice natural result without, um, uh, with a minimum downtime. So this procedure is quite popular and became popular in the last five to six years, especially in men. It's in top five of uh, minimal invasive procedures for uh, male patients, and in the last few years became really popular among the population of women. Every patient before having a cosmetic procedure, and especially hair restoration, needs to take into consideration, first of all, his medical background. It's really important to be fit and well. The next thing is to uh, focus on the expectations. Reasonable expectations make people happy. Uh, and the most important thing is uh, that the patient need to have a proper consultation with an expert. I know that there are many clinics, many doctors, but please, the, doc the patients should seek help uh, from qualified, trained personnel and have the procedure in uh, quality approved facilities. We have done with uh, Douglas' procedure. He's really happy, he's really pleased, and I'm really pleased with the outcome because he is smiling. Uh, I'm really happy because I was able to uh, meet the expectations uh, that he had in his mind. And um, the result looks really natural. And uh, the only thing that he has to do from now on is to follow the post-op instructions that are really important. And uh, in nine months' time, he will have an excellent result. It's uh, really important for him to take it easy for the first three days. Uh, he won't feel any pain, he will have only some mild itchiness. Itchiness is a type of pain that can be easily controlled with common painkillers like paracetamol and ibuprofen. Uh, he has to spray every roughly 30 minutes uh, only to keep the skin moist. It's not uh, necessary. On the fourth day he can have his first shower and after that he will forget that he had an operation done. He has, in 10 days he has to use some um, minoxidil uh, foam a day and night, and just to give a boost uh, and enhance the nutrients in the newly implanted follicles uh, for at least nine months. Uh, it's important, I want to see him back in roughly six weeks, uh, just to keep up the continuity with my patient to see how the donor area is healed. If there's any problem, I will be uh, ready to take his call. And then in six months time, we will start seeing the frame and uh, the first growth. The rapid growth. In nine months time he will have a very good result with very good length and in a year's uh, time uh, we will have the final result. 